Uh, so we got Younger versus Peach guy that goes to Harvard named King B. That's his name. Is it? Does that do PvP? Yeah. Uh, Actually, I think I saw him at a uh, PC uh, team game. Yeah, no, he's uh, been pretty active about the past like, month or so. Yeah. I think he said he was busy with school or something, and now he decided that, you know, melee is more important than school. Damn, that's, I mean, it's a good realization to come to because it's true. Yeah. A lot of people don't know it. Because uh, melee has a future. School, uh, school, you're a wage slave for the rest of your life. Oh, yeah, how much, how much debt do I have yeah. to play melee? Well, Five bucks a week, dog, you know, like. Yeah. I hope I haven't been called. I'm kind of suspecting that I have. What did I check? So the younger uh, ranked three at Northeastern University. Uh, second is myself versus Crush, of course. But younger... Is that the Twitter BR that I saw? With Neft in last place? Was that the BR? Because uh, I saw one of those. I'm not sure. I mean, my Twitter... Crush has a really good Twitter. I don't know if younger has a I think he does. No, but I saw someone post it. I don't know who it was. Might, might have been Neft. Neft might have retweeted it. But it was a, a, a Northeastern PR, and Neft was in his own tier at the bottom. Uh, I was wondering what yeah, that was well, up Neft with that. I'm is, like, uh, is it cyberbullying or He's what? actually like okay sometimes. He just, yeah. him and uh, Thunderpaint and Sarah are our most uh, emotionally challenged players. And uh, I don't want to know what that means because it probably applies to me in a big way. So, so it just let's means not talk that about it. They do not meet their potential, or maybe their potential is actually really low. But uh, uh -huh. definitely some mental problems. It sounds very similar to me. I have a lot of mental problems. But like 10% of the time, they just play amazing. Yeah. It could also be because they both play Spacey and Falcon, which are explosive characters. Yeah. I, I play Spacey and I don't. I don't never. I never. I'm never good. So which like, like makes you believe you're amazing. Right. But That's true. You might actually just be incredibly inconsistent, and you got lucky that your execution worked well. Yeah. yeah. So that, that doesn't. That's. Like, your execution has a bit of an RNG factor to it. I agree. So, uh, sometimes you just get lucky, and when you, even if you have bad execution, you execute right eight times in a row. That doesn't necessarily mean you improve your execution. Yeah, and then you're like, oh, I play so well sometimes, I'm just going to be on all the time. And yeah. all it actually means is that you're not fucking up your So it can really control. create a, a healthy mindset. I'm going to start thinking about how, if whether or not that applies to me and think about my that way. Because uh, it seems like a better, better thing to think about than thinking, like, oh, I'm just the best. Yeah. Only sometimes I miss it, you know? I mean, you can do simple tests, like, can I do a wave dash ten times in a row without messing up? Yeah. Uh, can I do a wave dash ten times in a row without messing up? Or sitting in an uncomfy chair while looking at the TV for a weird That's a good point. Uh, People are getting too familiar with their, with their setup, you know? Yeah. I could, I could hey. shield drop for a month before I could shield drop in a drop. Younger you know just I mean? missed a ledge dash like 10 times. Yeah, but that's how you're going to interpret that? <laughs> just you just tournament winner. It. Okay, no, he was doing... No, you uh, did the tournament winner and you fade back to ledge. I did it all the time. Okay, he was doing... Uh, yeah, he was doing a new style ledge spot. Yeah. It was the really bad one, and I think he was testing uh, his opponent. See if his opponent was I remember throwing his head back after that death. Like, oh my god, only getting a two stock would be a disgrace. So I think uh, Younger might have an unhealthy mentality too. He might not be respecting his opponent. Yeah, I would agree with that statement. Yeah, if he's that mad after losing a stock, but he still has the speed, like, right. uh, you gotta respect your opponents. I think that's very true. You should want to kill them too. You should also respect them. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, more than in the game. But, like, also, like, not haphazardly. Yeah. Um, You're not gonna pop out from behind the shower curtain. Like, they've seen that. You know what I mean? Uh, that's, that's definitely important. So, you try your hardest, but you can't be consumed by thoughts of winning either, right? Because you're not focusing on the game. Right. You're just, uh, you're just thinking about winning. Yeah, I, I love these sort of advice people say is about mindset in tournament. You know, don't think like, oh, I'm here to win. Think I'm here to learn. That's what you say, right? Yeah. And it's actually funny how universal that is. Yeah, no, definitely. I think like every top player has said that. Yeah. It's so easy to doubt that when you're a new player. Look at that. Fun interaction. So much to crash cancel. Both these players, I, I don't think there's a peach player that's bad at crash cancel. Okay, but Younger is definitely Me, actually, my secondary peach. I never crash cancel anything. But Younger is definitely very good at crash canceling the top gun. So we got a nice little crash cancel fight in the second stage. That's true. Uh, and, uh, it can be a frustrating matchup at times. You feel like you, you'd struggle against peach because of crash cancel, and then you might think, oh, because I play Falco, that's not a problem. Yeah. It's like, but all your normal just down alternate down. neutral options that you're used to using, like uh, forward tilting around, okay. back airs, that stuff is vulnerable. 
so you feel like an idiot when you get crunch cancelled. Oh, I'm playing Falco, I should never get crunch cancelled. It's like, but no, unless they're letting you play your level one. New so you there, have to yeah. play stupid at this point. You no, can't actually I mean, use mix ups. You have to just only dare and raise it. Maybe that's the case. Now, maybe the key mix ups aren't I about. Mean, aren't about um, that was a key realization for me against yeah. Peach 2 was. Stop doing the air mix-ups. Just drill every time. Right, right. Uh, Maybe you're focusing the wrong mix-ups that are good in other matchups but aren't good in this matchup. Yeah. yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, Chocolate Lava. Good I'll luck in your match. Thanks for commentating. All right, uh, King BB making a comeback. Will he win game two on Fountain of Dreams? The stage is pretty good for Peach. You got the low platform, which uh, can create nice down smash tracks. And, um, you have a high ceiling, so you live off the top for a while. But Falco usually kills Peach off the side, so it's not that big a deal in this matchup for survival, but it doesn't hurt. But Falco, the really low platforms give him numerous recovery mix-ups, which uh, definitely help his recovery as well. A nice combo here from King BBB. Uh, but Younger gets the reversal, up tilt, down air, is it going to be a suicide down air? No, it's just a recovery get up attack. Okay, wow. King BBB has uh, got these power shields going on. And is King BBB going to take game two? He's in the lead. Pe this is Peach where she's strongest. You can uh, camp shield, what's Falco going to do? Grab you, do 4%? I don't care, I'll just shield again. Um, and a juicy down smash, down smash. Okay, uh, grab. Okay, that's definitely like a stupid thing Peach can do. It's a weird scramble situation. No one knows what's going on. You can mash grab. Just if you get hit, then you mash down smash, right? It's a win-win situation. You don't have to think. Just mash Z and down and like you're fine. I, uh, King BB fishing for down smash is still maybe not the best move choice because it's not going to combo anymore, but it will kill Younger with really bad DI. Uh, might be better to fish for like, I don't know, I don't know. But the down smash kills! Just as I said, maybe don't do it. So King BBB showing that he knows better than Squibble uh, gets the down smash. And we are going to game three with Yay. Spiff. Hey Spiff. What's up? If it isn't the... Uh, nice ledge cancel. What was I gonna... Uh, what was it? Hang on, hang on. I had some... Ah, um, uh, Jesus. All right, Spiff living You're the... in his own world right now. Ah, what was I gonna say? Uh, I was gonna. Spiff, known chic player. All right, never mind. I'm, I'm just gonna ditch it right now. Sorry. All right, so it's game three. King BBB B B B wins. Uh, it's gonna be quite the upset. I, I don't know King BBB. B. He goes to Harvard. He plays Peach. Um, yeah, that's that's a big, pretty good summary of him. I thought that was like. All right, younger. Uh, looking like he's losing right now. But he gets the laser forward tilt, juicy combo with Falco. Yeah. Gets you like 12% and puts you in no danger at all. 12%? Mm. Really? It's like 4 5 for the laser, 7 for. Oh, juicy oh, okay, right. down smash. Yeah, and then like 7 Just for really the. Got that. Oh. Mm. So, Smith, do you ever play either of these characters? Uh, I play some Falco. I have a. Highly unorthodox, but effective Falco. It's a forward tilt and down smash based Falco. <laughs> See, it's, it's, it's a lot of down smashes because I just have that down smash instinct. Yeah. A yeah. um, hey, good recovery by King BBB. Into a down smash, down oh smash. Man. I don't think I've seen King BBB not get a double down smash. Yeah. He's really good at that. Stitch! Woo! Good dodge by Younger there. Ooh, that was good. Whenever I see a stitch, I just freak out and always get hit. Yeah. Definitely one of my... Uh, I always think I'm going to catch it and then I'm going to be a god. Uh, and it doesn't happen. It's actually, I don't think I've... I don't remember the last time I got stitched in tournament. But that's that's a benefit of playing a brain dead Falco, right? You're not scared of anything. Yeah, you're just like, I'm going to go in. Although Younger's definitely... He definitely thinks. He's not... Yeah. He's a, he's I a guess. good player. Good back air. Auto cancel back air. It's like one of them. At versus Peach, it's one of the few characters where it's actually like kind of risky. Because they can yeah. crouch cancel it. Yeah. And it's not quite big enough to beat out our moves, so she can always trade. Mm. 
I, but I'm gonna go with just this player cam again. Why, why is it that every every player cam every week is, is just like, just just heads? <laughs> because uh, we respect different body types by not showing them. I think I just got called. I have to play BBB. All right, let's go uh, Smith. It's rough, man. You I can play BBB? Against just every like... Him. What? No, against every Ice Climbers, I can win. Nice edge drop. I win one game. Slash stock game All three. Right. Yes, it is. No Ice Climbers on screen, so we know the final stock will be skill-based. And uh, I don't know. what's going to happen? Uh, but there is a Peach. Oh, no. Oh, and ah. 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 Sorry, I'm, I'm my bad. Okay. My bad. Sorry. Not nearly as bad as that could have no. been. Yeah, that could've. Is this it? Okay, good. Do oh. Yeah, that is it. All right. And, oh, is that it? Okay. Sorry, everyone's headphones. Younger that was, almost throwing that was the my game bad. at the end, but not throwing it hard.